You too. What's good? Back with another video. Hey, today, real quick, because I just, it really blow my mind sometimes. Because, like I said, people really, everybody has their own best interests at heart. So, understanding that, I don't ever take shit too personal or really care about it too much or even speak on it. But I want y'all to really understand who is really, who really cares about you? Who really is in your life for benefiting you and vice versa? You know what I'm saying? Who are the assets in your life? Cause you know, you are the sum total, you are the product of the five to 10 closest people to you. Romantically and personally, the, the 10 closest people to you, you are the product of. All right, I said that before, I said it in other videos. But really, I want y'all to sit there and think about it. Because I, I mentioned this book, uh, 50 Cent, Work Harder, Work Smarter, where he mentions in the book, people in your life is deposits and withdrawals. Who is making deposits in your life? Who is just taking withdrawals from you? All right, what are deposits? Deposits could be money, it could be financial wise, or it could even be just kind words. It could just be kind acts. It could just be checking on you. Hey, bro, yo, you good? How you and the family? Everything straight? Y'all need anything? All right, boom, boom. I'll holler at you. Or just inviting you out. Something to ease the, the stress in your... Anything. You know what I'm saying? Anything. And who's making deposits in your life? Look around you and think who's making deposits in your life, right? You probably came up with at least three, three, four names. Now, who is only making withdrawals from your life? Now, notice I said only making withdrawals because in a, in a, a healthy relationship, there's going to be deposits and withdrawals, right? But who in your life is only making withdrawals from you? Only hit you up for money. Only hit you up for your attention. Only hit you up to, to, to waste your time. Who's making withdrawals from your life? Not adding anything to you, not benefiting you, not making your life easier, no business advice, no business ventures, no nothing. Just hitting you up for money and then disappear until the next go about. Never have no good conversation for you, never have no healthy advice for you, but always want to be in the mix talking gossip you know, foolishness, stuff that's on social media, all that. Who's making deposits and withdrawals in your life? Who are your real friends? I know you young dudes, 18, 21, shit like that. Y'all fresh out of high school, college and stuff. You may think the, the motherfuckers you rolling with is your boys. Y'all gonna be down for life. Now, that might be the case in some terms, but I promise you, you're gonna lose at least 75% of them through just life you know going through everybody goes through their own problems journeys and stuff like that people that y'all gonna live in different locations geographics some people be overseas this that and the third life will hit you in the face so a lot of y'all might lose touch ain't nothing wrong with that right ain't nothing wrong that's life but in your the people that do stick around who's really real and who's really there right a lot of y'all victim to just location Y'all ain't never been nowhere outside your hometown. Y'all don't know nothing but home. So the, the 20 dudes y'all grew up with or the, the whoever it is you grew up with, they your homeboys. They this, that, and the third of you because that's all you know. Y'all, that's all y'all know is each other. Y'all, y'all all live in the same, in the same mindset, the same small confined space. So that's what y'all accustomed to. That's what y'all comfortable with. That's all y'all know. All y'all know is y'all. You ever wonder why? Now let's say it's a group of them. It's a group of 10 of them. And, and two of them go off to college. Go off to college and then come back. You know, come back home for, you know, when the semester's over for winter or whatever. For whatever it is. And then you trying to tell them about your experiences at college, this, that, and the third. Like, yo, man, this shit was lit. You know what I'm saying? I joined fraternities, this, that, and the third. I was having a ball. And you know what I'm saying? 
they can't relate to that. So it seems like you bragging and to them, they seems like they hating, but they can't relate to that because they don't have those experiences. They ain't been nowhere, they ain't did nothing. They don't know what it's like. So you, you with your mindset expanding, you growing and, and learning, having new experiences, planting your, your seeds in different soil, you have all these new experiences, you want to connect with people and talk about it, but they can't relate. And these is your boys. So you're like, man, I don't, you know, I, don't, I feel like I'm bragging, but I don't feel like y'all giving me the love. You know what I'm saying? So now, what does that mean? Is there something wrong with you? Is there something wrong with them? No, there ain't nothing wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with them. It's just a sign that y'all have grown apart or you grown and they stayed the same. So what's best for you to do is just keep growing. And as you grow, you're gonna just naturally cut ties with them. It don't have to be nothing malicious. It don't gotta be nothing, you know, extra extensive. You know, it don't have to be like, man, they had a bad falling out or nothing like that. It's just, that's what it is. That's what it calls for. We're not going in the same direction. Y'all can't relate to me where I'm going and y'all not growing with me. Same thing. When I left for the army, you know, my dad was like, you know, I went by myself. You know, a lot of people go with somebody else, but I went alone. And my dad was like, what's wrong? Because I was a little upset. I wasn't sad, but I was just like, damn, bro, I'm leaving. Like, you know, I just had a going away party and all that. I was like, damn, bro, I'm leaving. So I was feeling a little ways. He was like, what's, what's wrong? I was like, nothing, just like, just getting ready for everything. He was like, was you, was you mad, you know, sad, you leaving your friends and stuff. I was like, yeah, it was, it fell a little way. He was like, it's all right, man, you gonna, you'll make new friends. You ain't even gonna worry about it. You'll make new friends. And the ones that's really down for you, the ones that's the, the real friends, you're still gonna be in touch with them. Don't even worry about that. Ain't, and the ones that ain't doing nothing, they'll still be there too. He ain't never lied. When you go away, when you break out of your hometown, I feel like it is a necessity. It is a necessity to break out of your hometown if you are not doing, if you're not in a position where like you're, you, you set up, you got a career there, you know, you making your money, make good money and you can elevate through the chain, you know, in that area. But if you're not doing nothing like that, if you don't have a career goal or plan or a good company that you with, or you set up business there, whatever, if you're not doing nothing like that, you need to leave your hometown. You need to leave your hometown. You need to break out your comfort zone and plant yourself in new soil. That's the only way you're gonna grow. You could be a motherfucking uh, palm tree. You could be a palm tree. You might be a palm tree, but you cannot grow where the soil does not suit you. You cannot grow where the soil does not suit you. You might be a fucking evergreen tree, a tall oak tree. You cannot grow and flourish in a swamp. That's not the environment for you. You gotta go plant yourself, find the right soil for you so that you can grow and flourish, so that you can reach your fullest potential. That's what I mean by leaving home. You gotta leave home if you're not doing anything positive or beneficial to you and your family or whatever. You gotta get out of there. It'll expand your mindset, you'll get new experiences, you'll start learning things, you'll meet new people, you'll network, blah, 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 whatever. Everybody can sit there and tell you all the bad things about it. You don't know nobody, it's dangerous over there, your car doesn't make, fuck all that. The same stuff that can happen in another state can happen in your state. Even worse in your state, because people know you. I'd rather people not know me. More shit happen in your own state Because people know you They know your tendencies They know where you be at They know the people you be with They know how to get up with you That's why people die in their home state More than not Everybody know everybody You gotta get out And get new experiences And become the, and become what you supposed to become The same things you doing Because if you're not doing nothing You can do the same stuff in a new state you be working, you got a crib, you got an apartment, you got a car, you working. You can do all three of those things in a new state, in a new city, anywhere. 
But the difference is you're expanding your horizon. You're opening your mind to new experiences. You're opening your life up. You're breaking out of your comfort zone. I know motherfuckers from back home that ain't never been nowhere. Not even talking about like vacation and shit. I'm talking about never been nowhere. Like never had the, like their family, they're there. Their parents is there. Their parents' parents is there. Like they never been nowhere else. Like their whole family is rooted there, right? And I don't, I don't feel like that's the way for you to flourish. All right, like. But with that, I know I went on a rant about it, but I take it real serious about people that's in your life and people that's around you. Cause I'm a real serious. I, I'm a. I, I like to be funny. I, I joke around a lot and shit like that, but. I take life very serious and the people that are really around me, I go hard about them. Male, you know, male and female. So my boys that's in my life, you know, I I go hard for my guys and, and for my girl and, and, and my mom, sisters, and, and any woman in my life, you know, I go hard about them. So I take that shit very seriously. Like, we're not just gonna be around, like we cannot be around each other if I don't benefit you in some way. Or you don't benefit me in some way. I think Kevin Samuel said it the best. You're used because you're useful, right? But you gotta be useful on both sides. Like we gotta be able to use each other. Like we're both. But if somebody's just using you and they have nothing else to offer, they have nothing to offer to you or the group. They don't need to be around. They don't need to be around. That is a weak link. You don't need any weak links. Life's hard enough. You don't need nobody that, that could potentially put y'all in danger or potentially you know, fuck up a business trend, anything. You don't need no weak links. Iron sharp, sharpens iron, you know, money begets money. So take, a, take an assessment of the people that's around you. Take an assessment of the people that's around you. Because, and, and look at yourself too and make sure that you are the type of person that you know can even say this type of stuff you feel me so make sure that you are actually adding value and shit to other people and you're not just leeching off of motherfuckers either because it's easy to look at other people and be like yeah they just they just round me because i got money or they just round me because i get all the bitches or they just round me because blah whatever i always had a weed or whatever the fuck it is right but are you an asset to them a positive asset. Do you add value to other people? Do you add value to the people around you? Because if not, you the problem. It all starts with you. Because you only allow around you what you are. You don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. So if you are a piece of shit, you're gonna have a bunch of scat packs around you. You're gonna have a bunch of pieces of shit around you. Right, but that's all I got for y'all, yo. Until next time, man. It's Wolfgang Peak. It's Wolfgang Lifestyle, and I'm out.